Welcome to the Holistic Health Bites podcast. I'm your host, Andrea Nicholson, crime scene investigator turned metabolic health investigator. This podcast provides bite-sized episodes to help you have a pristine health scene so you can live a vibrant, adventure-filled life. Let's dive in. Welcome back to the Holistic Health Bites podcast. Today, I wanted to share a story of a new client of mine who came to me specifically because conventional medicine did not serve him, and he really still wanted some support, but he didn't want to go back to the conventional medical model. So I recently had this consultation with him as a prospective new client, and I really want to share this story with you because I don't think this is all that uncommon but I don't think it's very commonly talked about either. So his story is a powerful testament to the importance of really exploring alternatives beyond conventional medicine if that model isn't serving you. So this client had been struggling with type 2 diabetes, hypertension, excessive weight. He was over 340 pounds when he started. He also had heartburn and joint pains and just lots of inflammatory conditions and he was really unhappy and looking for change. His doctor had him on multiple medications for the type 2 diabetes specifically which included insulin, glipizide, and metformin and we're going to talk more about these medications in a little bit. Instead of these medications giving him relief, he was actually experiencing really troubling side effects. The metformin was causing him diarrhea and the insulin and glipizide were contributing to further weight gain, and he just felt like these were making him even sicker. So he was super motivated and did a ton of research on all of these conditions, and he ended up finding a wealth of information on naturally reversing type 2 diabetes and some of the potential downsides of relying on these medications because they're not actually reversing the disease. When he voiced his concerns to his doctor, she dismissed him suggesting that his diet changes would not make any difference at all, and he just needed to accept the fact that he was going to be on these medications forever. Even more perplexing is she set a minimum dose of insulin that he needed to be taking every single day, insisting that he even take more insulin if his blood sugars were dropping to 90 before meals. Now, this made no sense to him or to me, since the insulin would only drive that down further. So if she didn't want it even as low as 90, taking more insulin was only going to make it even lower. And also, a pre-meal blood glucose level of 90 is not too low, but rather that's within the ideal range of 70 to 90 when fasted or before eating. Now, he firmly believed that these medications were not helping, but were in fact really making him sicker. At the time he was going through this journey with his doctor, his hemoglobin A1C had consistently been climbing and was now over 9%, well above the optimal level of 5.3 or below. When his doctor insisted that he keep his blood sugars elevated and simply take more insulin, he lost it. He hit his breaking point, he immediately fired her, and even switched insurance providers entirely. Taking matters into his own hands, he ended up making significant dietary changes based on the research he had done. He reduced his overall carbohydrate intake and ultimately weaned himself off of all of the medications. While I strongly advise against altering prescription medications without medical supervision, I hear this all the time from people who their doctors are reluctant to help them explore alternatives or get off of medications. This can be really risky, so I definitely encourage everyone to seek a medical professional who will support your journey in getting off of medications rather than taking the unnecessary risk of taking yourself off of them. So he reached out to me because he wanted some validation that the current plan he was following wasn't harming him, and he wanted some additional recommendations to continue losing the weight. Despite the lack of support from his doctor and actually having fired her, he ended up making tremendous progress on his own. Currently, he is weighing at 308, so he has lost more than 30 pounds, and has lowered his A1C to 69 he no longer has hypertension or heartburn either. 
This serves as undeniable proof that his medications were not helping him and that his nutrition and lifestyle plan is playing a pivotal role in reversing this disease. Now, it's important to note that in his situation, he has type 2 diabetes, which differs significantly from type 1. Type 2 diabetes is characterized by high insulin levels and resistance to the insulin. While injecting insulin and taking glipizide, which forces the pancreas to produce more insulin, helps to, quote, manage blood sugar levels by overwhelming the system with insulin, it's also continuing to progress the disease and leading to further resistance to insulin. This means that over time, he would require increasingly higher doses of insulin to continue to, quote, manage his blood sugars. Insulin is a vital hormone, but it has a delicate balance. Too much or too little can contribute to various diseases and conditions. Excess insulin not only hinders the utilization of stored sugars and fat for energy, but it also promotes fat storage, alters thyroid function, and increases the risk of cardiovascular disease. One significant missing link in his journey was the lack of comprehensive lab testing from his doctor. Despite repeated requests, his doctor refused to conduct thorough tests, including fasting insulin and other vital markers. Consequently, he has never had his insulin levels tested, nor did he possess any data on fasting glucose, lipids, liver health, inflammation, or any other crucial information about his overall well-being. During our work together, we will be gathering objective data using comprehensive blood chemistry panels, which will include fasting glucose, fasting insulin, a current hemoglobin A1c, as well as markers to assess liver, kidney, adrenal, immune system, inflammation, cardiovascular, and thyroid health. All of this is vital to him living a long, healthy, and vibrant life. Additionally, we will monitor his blood sugars in real time using a continuous glucose monitor, which is a small device that is worn on the arm that constantly measures blood sugars. Although it is very early in our journey together, the initial blood work already reveals high levels of inflammation, insulin, blood sugar, unhealthy lipids, a B vitamin deficiency, vitamin D deficiency, liver imbalances, thyroid imbalances, digestive dysfunction, and a possible underlying infection. Stay tuned for future updates as we work together to naturally restore balance to his body. If you are intrigued by the possibilities of gathering this kind of data for yourself, I invite you to schedule a free holistic health strategy session so that we can discuss your personal situation and explore the potential paths to your well-being. I will leave a link in the show notes for scheduling this call. As always, be well and vibrant, and I will see you again on the next episode. Thanks for being a faithful listener to the podcast. I'd love it if you left me a five-star review on this podcast so that others can more easily find this valuable information. Did you know I also work one-on-one with clients? I approach solving health challenges like I approached solving crimes by conducting a thorough investigation into your case. Whether you're looking to lose weight, boost your energy, fix your digestive system, or reduce inflammation, I can help. All you have to do to get started is book a free call. The link is in the show notes.